welcome friends so the chemical name of moxa leaf we call artemisia vulgaris this is the scientific name of the moxa leaves what we use here so moxa is used in various forms it is to balance or the correction of the chi or the prana shakti what we discussed in the previous class according to the chinese traditional chinese concept so this artemisia vulgaris is used in multiple ways one as a direct moxibustion another version is an indirect moxibustion so in direct moxibustion there are two methods one is uh, scarring moxibustion where the moxa cone or other forms of moxas are used on the skin directly till there is a scarring so because of the scarring of the skin this is not much used in nowadays modern uh, therapies so most commonly non scarring method is used where the cone of the moxa is kept on the skin and it will start burning and till it near to the end so still it is red hot and near to the end of the burning on the skin this moxa will be removed so that maximum effect of the heat of the moxa cone will go to the area of the skin which is programmed to increase the yang or decrease the yin <clears throat> or permutation combination where what you want to do either you want to increase the yin or decrease the yang or any of the permutation combination related to that particular disease of the body so it has been written in various details about moxi moxi moxibustion the procedure is called as moxibustion and the leaf is called as moxa for you to remember so i mentioned about direct moxibustion in that scarring and non scarring moxibustion so most commonly we use all the indirect moxibustion so in this indirect moxibustion we use the moxa on the needle say for example this is a skin surface and we have put a an acupuncture needle either we use a hot ginger here which will act like a moxa or we use a garlic here which will act like a moxa or we put a moxa cone itself on this where the heat of this will get transmitted to the needle and then it will go inside the skin so in this there are some other moxa structures or there are structure which will hold the moxa cones various methods there are some moxa cones which will be like this structure like this which has a iron bars which will not allow the moxa to fall down onto the skin and still transmit the heat of moxa to the skin so this will be kept on the area which we are focusing and it will be tied so this will be tied so required duration 15 minutes 20 minutes it will be given so this is very new therapy so in indian continent what we see is anything coming from the west which people wants to try it works much better for indians so what i mean to say is for indians if you want to try acupuncture moxibustion it works little better than ayurveda because your body is tuned for yoga and ayurveda so in our case what we do we ask you to we ask you to follow your Uh, medical doctors instructions and then take up our i m r x therapies these are integrative medical therapies all the medical therapies are evidence based and cost effective and effective in terms of the pain management with this particular i m r x therapies it is used for various disorders we not only use the moxa as a treatment unit or acupuncture as a treatment unit we also use yoga ayurveda acupuncture other physical therapies your therapeutic exercises physiotherapy techniques everything whatever needed whatever useful best for the patient 
we use this in integrative medical therapies which we specially designed by trained medical doctors so we use it for various pain management disease management cancer neurological disorders and various asthma arthritis so many diseases we use so hope you get a clear idea we suggest you to meet your doctor and then decide any of these therapies which you are heard from us okay thank you